Travis Kelsey looked at the blank page, and the flashing cursor seemed to be making fun of him. On or off the field, he had never been afraid of a challenge, but telling Taylor Swift's family how he felt was like catching a Hail Mary with three defenders in the way. He had been seeing Taylor for a while. Their relationship grew quickly and became famous. Even though they were deeply connected, Travis knew that Taylor's family would be very cautious. He got it, she was famous all over the world, and their world was very different from the NFL locker room. He took a deep breath and began to type. Mr. and Mrs. Swift, it's weird to write this email, but talking to someone always falls short when I want to say something. I knew something was different about Taylor from the first time I met her. There's no denying her skill, but what really shines are her kindness, fun, and strength. He poured out his feelings as his fingers flew across the keys. He talked about how much he admired Taylor's work ethic, how much she loved her family, and how she had inspired so many people. He admitted that being in the spotlight was hard and reassured them that his goals were good. I fully understand if it takes some time for you to trust me, he wrote. But I promise to always honor Taylor, back her dreams, and put her happiness first. She deserves everything good in the world, and I hope to be a part of it, with your permission. He read the message again, and each word made him feel a little less good. He finally clicked, sent, with a touch of nerves. The next few days were terrible. He kept looking at his phone because he was dying to hear back. Then, early one morning, Taylor sent a text message. Family wants to meet you, it said. First a wave of relief hit him, then a wave of joy, and a touch of fear. At first, the dinner was tense. Mr. Swift was a quiet guy with a look that could melt ice. He asked Travis many questions about his job and his plans for the future. Mrs. Swift, who was friendly and smart, watched them talk and smiled as she did so. The stress went down as the night went on. Travis was very excited to talk about his goals, both on and off the field. He told stories about how close his family was, which made him want to have a family like that one day. Mr. Swift finally cleared his throat. We can tell you really care about Taylor, Travis, he said. That's all we want for her ever. Travis felt a lot of relief. She looked at him with eyes that were filled with happiness and joy. It was then that he knew earning the trust of her family was the best touchdown he'd ever scored. Travis Kelsey stared at the blank note card. The job seemed so big that it hit him like a linebacker. He had written a lot of game plans and trash-talked his opponents until they were speechless, but telling Taylor Swift's family how he felt was a whole different ball game. Their quick-fire romance, which started when they met by chance, had drawn attention from the media and, he thought, some caution from Taylor's close-knit family. He really wanted to reassure them that his plans for Taylor were good. He took a deep breath and started to write. Mr. and Mrs. Swift, I can't find the right words to describe how much Taylor means to me. Every day, her goodness, strength, and skill make me want to be better. But what really shocks me is the woman she is, not the songs or the stadium lights. I know that our lives are not the same. You raised a wonderful girl who is now a woman who has done things most people can only dream of. My life as a football player can be loud and hard. But when I'm with Taylor, I feel at home in a way I've never felt before. Some might see me as just another athlete here for a good time, he said after a pause. But that's not at all what I mean. I want to spend the rest of my life with Taylor, loving, respecting, and always being there for her. I get that you might be worried, and I'd love the chance to talk to you both one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you for making the amazing woman I love. Do sincere, Travis signed his name, and with each stroke, a weight lifted off his shoulders. He read the note again, and his gut shook with worry. Was it enough? What did it say about how he really felt? The next day, Taylor found him with the note in his hand and his eyes fixed on the window. She asked with worry in her voice, what's wrong, babe? He took a big breath in. He told her, I just wanted your parents to know how much I love you and gave her the note. She read it with tears in her eyes. She broke into a smile. This is perfect, Travis, she told him, her voice heavy with tears. They'll see your heart in every word. A few days after that, Andrea Swift called. Travis, she said in a soft voice, 
Thank you for that beautiful note. We really appreciate it. It made him feel better, but there was more to her voice. She then asked, can we meet up for dinner next week? There's something we'd like to discuss. The pain in Travis's heart shook him. Was it a good thing? Something bad? He looked at Taylor, and they were talking to each other in silence. He was ready for anything with Taylor by his side, even though this was a new game. Travis Kelsey looked at the blank page in his notebook. Instead of the usual nerves he gets before a game, he felt a different kind of anxiety. He wasn't getting ready for a blitz, he was writing a note to Andrea and Scott Swift, Taylor Swift's parents. Their daughter Taylor, who was always glowing, had won his heart with her singing and wit. He was Travis Kelsey, an NFL tight end who was known for being loud on the field. But for Taylor, he wanted them to see Travis, the man who loved their independent and brilliant daughter very much. He put ink on the pen and then removed a flowery line. This had to be real. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Swift, he said. It feels strange writing this on a piece of paper, but getting to know Taylor has been one of the greatest joys of my life. After a short pause, he went on to talk about how her music had been an inspiration to him throughout his work. He talked about how much they loved their family, pushing the limits, and going after their dreams. He told her how much he respected her privacy and how much he loved how fiercely independent she was. Most importantly, he wrote, his handwriting getting clearer, my intentions for Taylor are good. She's been there for me through good times and bad, and I want to be someone who cheers her on and is there for her too. He read the letter again. The words were honest but not harsh. He laughed as he thought about Taylor's jokes. With a grin, he said, P.S. I promise I won't try to write a song with her, at least not until I get your blessing, and maybe some songwriting lessons from the master herself. The next morning, before a flight, Travis nervously gave Taylor the letter. He mumbled, for your parents, and a blush rose up his neck. The way Taylor smiled was so happy. This is so sweet, Travis, she said with a smile. They're going to love it. Another week went by, and Taylor called. She laughed so hard that she could hardly speak. My mom wants to bake you cookies, she said. Apparently, you passed the test. Travis felt a wave of relief. It was then that he knew this was more than just a friendship. He felt like he had won the Super Bowl. In the same way that he fought for every yard on the field, he would fight for this too. Travis Kelsey looked at the blank page in his notebook. Instead of the normal nerves he gets before a game, he felt a knot in his stomach. He wasn't making plans for the Chiefs game, he was making a message for Taylor's family. Their quick-fire romance, which had been all over the press, had grown stronger in public. Travis knew that Taylor's family was very protective, and the rumors about his plans, which were fed by his outlandish personality, hurt. To understand his heart, he asked them. He put ink on the pen and then erased a quick drawing. This wasn't about running backs or game stats. He wrote, to Mr. and Mrs. Swift, Andrea, and Austin, and he called each person by name, which he thought showed respect. He poured out his heart as he talked about how amazed he was at first to meet Taylor, a pop star, but how quickly that amazement turned into real respect for the woman behind the fame. He talked about how kind she was, how hard she worked, and how her eyes lit up when she talked about music. He talked about how he wanted to be more than just the famous player in the news. He wanted to be a constant support and teammate on life's journey. He made his determination clear. There were some tough parts about dating a celebrity, but he told them he was only trying to help them. He wouldn't mind being watched as long as they knew his heart belonged to Taylor and their very loyal family. He ended with a simple, sincere, thank you for raising such a wonderful woman. With each careful fold, Travis felt a weight lift off of his shoulders. He knew it wasn't normal, but he felt like he had to reach out. He gave Taylor the letter, which was a quiet plea for her to help him get along with her family. After a few days, Taylor called. Her voice was shaking with emotion. She said, my parents want to thank you. They read your letter. They know you care. Travis felt a wave of relief. It wasn't a promise, but it was a step in the right direction. At that point, he knew that scores wouldn't win over Taylor's family. Instead, he would have to be honest and loyal to the woman he loved.